Okay, this will be a video on how to install the OpenPilot software on your new Comma 2. I just finished my unboxing, and now the first thing I'm going to do is plug power into it. Now I'm using the supplied USB cable that came with the kit, and all I did was add a USB-C to USB-A uh, converter to it so that I can plug it into a USB power port on my desk. And now this just plugs in fully there. You saw it light up here that it has power. So now that we have power, I'm going to hit the power button on top and hold it. And it's powering up. Okay, now we just continue our setup. The first thing it asks you is if you want to install Dashcam software or the OpenPilot software. Well, we want the OpenPilot software, but first thing we're going to do is connect to Wi Fi. Now, I'm going to skip over this while I put in my Wi Fi password, but that is essentially what we're going to do here. Put in your Wi Fi password now. Okay, now you have your password in, hit connect. And we're connected to our Wi Fi. So we can hit continue. Okay, so here you will pick the dashcam software or the custom software. And the custom software is where we download OpenPilot. So the web address you put in and you found online that it is OpenPilot. Dot comma dot AI. So we put that in, we hit OK, it selects the install, and it is automatically downloading the software now that we're connected to Wi Fi and installing OpenPilot. All right, now that OpenPilot is installed, you need to read these terms and conditions. Make sure you read this if you haven't already. There's a lot of important information here about the safety and what exactly is going on. OpenPilot does not make your vehicle autonomous. It's a level two system. You're still in control of the vehicle at all times. There is a lot in here that you should know. And it's for your safety. So make sure you read all this. Again, I've read it before on my previous uh, install of OpenPilot. So once you get to the bottom, you accept. And here you'll pair it with your account on Comma Connect which I can't do because I'm filming this with my phone, but you can scan the barcode. So I'll just skip for now. And now we're in the training program. So we'll hit begin training. OpenPilot is an advanced driver assistance system. A driver assistance system is not a self-driving car. This means OpenPilot is designed to work with you, not without you. Your attention is required to drive. I will keep my eyes on the road. I will be ready to take over at any time. I will be ready to take over at any time. Okay, OpenPilot uses multiple sensors to see the road ahead. Before any signals are sent to control your car, sensors are fused to construct a scene on the road. Camera from my device. Camera from device. A vision algorithm leverages the road facing camera to determine the path to drive. The lane lines are drawn with varying widths to reflect the confidence in finding your lane. So it wants you to select the path to continue. Radar from your car. The stock radar 
in your car helps OpenPilot measure the lead car distance for longitudinal control. The indicator is drawn either red or yellow to illustrate relative speed to the lead car. So we click the chevron. OpenPilot will engage when cruise control is set. Press cruise to engage and a pedal to disengage. Engage OpenPilot. When you are ready to engage OpenPilot at a comfortable speed, locate the cruise controls on your steering wheel and press set to begin. Driver monitoring. When OpenPilot is engaged, you must always pay attention. OpenPilot monitors awareness with 3D facial recognition and pose. Distracted drivers are alerted, then disengage from OpenPilot until corrected. OpenPilot can change lanes with your assistance. OpenPilot is not capable of checking if a lane change is safe. This is your job. OpenPilot will change lanes regardless if another vehicle is present. Start lane change. With OpenPilot engaged, turn on your signal, check your surroundings, and confirm it is safe to change lanes. Perform lane change. Continuously observe your surroundings for safety while gently nudging the steering wheel towards the, your desired lane. The combination of turn signal and wheel nudge will prompt OpenPilot to change lanes. OpenPilot will stop driving when a pedal is pressed. When encountering a potentially unsafe situation or exiting a highway, you can disengage with any pedal. Limited features. Keep in mind that certain situations are not handled by OpenPilot. Scenarios such as traffic lights, stop signs, quick vehicle cut-ins, and pedestrians are unrecognized and OpenPilot may accelerate. Disengage OpenPilot. While OpenPilot is engaged, you may keep your hands on the wheel to override lateral controls. Longitudinal controls will be managed by OpenPilot until the gas or brake pedal is pressed to disengage. Congratulations, you have completed OpenPilot training. This guide can be replayed at any time from the device settings. To learn more about OpenPilot, read the wiki and join the community at discord.comma.ai. We finished training, and that's it guys. We are ready to drive. So the next video will be a full install on my 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback of the comma too. So stay tuned. Bye.